Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson here, your friend and professor from Johnson County Community College. And in this short screencast, we're going to talk about chapter five, which is an amazing chapter that helps you create this photo gallery. Not only can you move left and right through your photos with these buttons, you can click the show more images button and show five images in the gallery or click show fewer images and only show three. And you're going to do all this through JavaScript. So what this JavaScript is entering into is creating and deleting elements and also changing the order of the elements on the screen. And all of that is being triggered by clicking these buttons. So there's a lot of JavaScript going on here. And the chapter introduces you to this by discussing the DOM, the document object model. And all the document object model does is describes the relationship of these elements one to another, which you have to know if you're going to be creating them and removing them and moving their order as we do in this photo gallery. If you haven't taken the time to look at my introduction to the DOM video YouTube that's in my Web 110 section, you might want to start there because the DOM is a scary term but it's really nothing more than discussing how the elements relate one to another, which becomes important in your JavaScript when you start doing things such as creating elements or inserting elements or appending child elements. So we're going to learn some new methods. And at this point in our JavaScript 1 class, I'm really just expecting you to get through the code. Obviously, you need to know the basics, how to create a function, how to use your curly braces to syntactically surround your code, how to reference an element by tag name, both the element name and its position on the page in square brackets. You're going to get a lot of practice doing the same JavaScript statements that you've done before, only with all different code. So instead of using our get element by ID method, you're going to learn some new methods like create element or pen child or insert before. You will be exposed to a lot of additional JavaScript statements, but all the code is given to you. So you simply have to be careful and make sure that at each step as you key this exercise, your code works. If you just keep writing code, but nothing is working, all you're doing is making it more difficult to debug later. Of course, I'm here and I'm available to help you along the way when your code is broken and you simply cannot find the solution. Hopefully you'll use your troubleshooting techniques of window alert, console log, JS lint, and of course, right click, inspect element, the console, the debugger tabs, all of those things are at your disposal that you learned in chapter four. But chapter five, I really just want to make sure you can get through it and learn a little bit more, be exposed to a few more JavaScript statements and methods. There are just two other things I want to point out about the chapter five data file, and that is the query selector method that you see here, where you can actually query, question a selector, a CSS selector. So this is the first time we've really talked to our CSS through our JavaScript. And you remember what the selector is. It's the part before the curly brace in your CSS that selects what you're about ready to style. Finally, I want to point out the style property. This is your way to use JavaScript to change a specific style. And styles, as we know, we typically set through CSS, but we can change them through JavaScript. Thank you.